Hello, baby! So, welcome back to Rocker's Beer Review. Um, apologies for that rather cringeworthy intro, but today we're going to start off this review not about beer, but about rock. Um, reviewing probably one of my favourite albums, my go-to album for the summer, and that's 5150 by Van Halen. Now, 5150 came about uh, with a new singer. Van Halen were at the top of their game in, in sort of 1984, uh, with the album of the same name came out with a massive hit, Jump and Panama, songs that everyone knows. Then David E. Roth decided to leave the band and was replaced by the ex-Montrose um, red rocker Sammy Hagar. Um, Sammy Hagar came into the band and the, the resulting album was 5150. So why is this album so good? The Van Halen t-shirts on. I am a huge Van Halen fan and, you know, I must admit that Sammy Hagar, I think, is a, is better as the front man of Van Halen than David E. Roth. I love David E. Roth, I like the early Van Halen albums, and I really like the David E. Roth solo albums. But for me, Sammy Hagar is the better singer. So, without further ado, let's go through and review 5150. So, 5150, as I said, named after the studio um, that Eddie Van Halen owned called 5150, and that was in fact named after uh, the, the police code for capturing a crazy person in the States. So the album kicks off with Sammy Hagar introducing himself, like I did at the beginning of this video, um, with the song Good Enough, a straight ahead pounding rocker. And you know then that, that Van Halen have lost none of their sort of good time rock and roll, and it's a really great track. Then, then we take a shift in the second song. The second song, Why Can't This Be Love? It's a song many people may have heard. It's on a lot of rock soundtracks, um, because it's a very catchy pop rocks synth head heavy song a lot of people like it some people don't like it to me it's a good song but certainly not one of the best out of the album on the album third album really sort of shifts into a, a real heavy metal sort of sound with get get up it is a frantic from start to finish amazing guitar solos alex van halen is hitting the drums harder than he's ever done and it really is a real pounding song it's probably the first song i heard from this from this album and i thought this is going to be a great album after that we sort of go get slower again um, and we go into what is a, a very commercial track uh, and i think on this one this is a song called dreams Sammy Hagar really shows what a better singer he is than David Lee Roth. There's no discounting David Lee Roth as a frontman, as a showman, but in terms of pure quality singing, the song Dreams really shows off. Um, Sammy Hagar hitting some real high notes. It's again very synth heavy, which you know this we're talking about 1986 is is a time when um, you know where keyboards were being used a lot more in rock music. Um, but you can't deny the solo is up there with Eddie Van Halen's best. Brilliant song. Then, then we're going into Summer Nights. Now, Summer Nights and this whole album, as I say, this is the go-to album for me in the summer. As soon as the weather starts getting better, that's when I when I reach for my Van Halen 5150 album. Um, I find that it's not an album that really sort of associates itself with the winter time. It's all about summer rock. It creates that feeling of being in California, you know, you're riding a, you know, a Cadillac with a roof down and, you know, it's a real American good time summer rocks rock. And Summer Nights really sort of epitomizes that with its like Summer Nights and my radio. You know, it's all about sort of being around a campfire. It's all around that sort of feeling about you're out with your mates in the summertime, the weather's hot, you're drinking beer and it's it's got that great vibe to it. The next song we've got the rockers like we've got best of both worlds uh you know standard a standard sort of rocking track and then we get into probably van halen's first real foray into a into a proper balladry with love walks in this is the song that actually eddie van halen is playing keyboards on and sammy hagar's playing guitar i mean for a guitar god like eddie van halen to say wait i'll play the keyboards on this song is quite extraordinary after that we've got the title track 5150. Now it's a track that I probably got into later on um, as I as I've been listening to the album over the 30 odd years that I've I, I've had it. Um, 
to me, the solo on 5150 is probably Eddie Van Halen's best solo since he did the solo on Michael Jackson's Beat It. It's that good. If you if you like guitars and you like guitar solos, give this song a listen. There's a lot of people that sort of probably don't really hear it, but if you listen to that, it's a standout guitar solo. The album ends with Inside, a little bit of a tongue-in-cheek sort of song, a little bit, a few digs there about how Sammy Hagar sort of, um, you know, coming into the band and how he's going to sort of um, stand on his own two feet and not, not be a David Lee Roth clone. Um, so that's the album. I really would recommend it. You know, we're at a time now where the weather's starting, it was, it's pretty good, we're in the summer. So, you know, if you like rock and you like, and you want big, big songs, big choruses, great guitar songs, great melodies, then give this album a, a real good try because it's up there with one of the best albums of all time ever made, in my opinion, and probably the best Van Halen album too. So, this concludes my review of 5150. Now, let's get to the beer review. So, welcome back to Rocker's Beer Review. I hope you enjoyed the Van Halen review of 5150. So, I thought, well, which is the best sort of beer I'm going to have? I wanted a beer that really is all about summer, all about summer rock. Um, and I've picked this one up from um, Tesco. It's part of their £3.440 mil can. It's by the Northern Monk, and it's called Tropical World. It's a tropical smoothie IPA, coming in at 6.2%. Let's have another close-up there of the can. Um, Northern Monk brewery based in Leeds they are fast becoming one of my favorite breweries I've tried a few beers from them from beer 52 really like them they're quite readily available in supermarkets this one is obviously um, one of the 440 mil cans in Tesco's sort of new sort of range that came in in April this year so let's get this beer into a can and see what it's like shall we okay so I mean tropical I expect to be getting a lot of tropical sort of flavours with this beer. Yeah, you've got a nice yellowy There we go, poured out there. We've got a we've got quite we've got a uh, well we've got nearly a free thing ahead there. Um you can see that lovely golden yellowy colour. Um beautiful beautiful color in there um, a nice soft white head um, so let's uh, let's check out some of the aroma shall we yeah really sort of hits you with those with those tropical notes um, it's got a very sort of pineapple um, you know the tropicals pineapple papaya um, you got some sort of you know you got stone fruits in there like peaches and apricots as well and there's a subtle hint of uh, of grapefruit there as well. Um, it's uh, yeah, I mean, it's looking. I mean, look at that. I mean, look how golden bright that is. That's beautiful. Nice and hazy. Um, that is exactly how I like my IPAs to look just like that. So let's let's get it down, shall we? Cheers, everyone. really really fruity it's a fruit blast as you put it into your mouth wow i mean that's the sort of that that's the sort of beer you want to drink when you listen to van Halen's 5150 tropical summery you know but it's quite lively you know it's like it's like an eddie van Halen guitar solo you're getting those mango and pineapple really up front in the flavor there's not a, there's not too much bitterness in there. There's an element, there's a slightly dryness there on the on the back end in the palate, but it's it's really really fruity and it's it's very smooth. I mean, see that you see that the head there, the body of it is very very smooth. They've obviously used some sort of you know uh, a level of oats in the brewing process just to make it smooth. Let's have another taste, shall we? Yeah, I mean this. This is a really good drink. As I said, Northern Monk do make really good beers, but this is fruity. I mean, sometimes when I look at the look at that and I see it's a tropical smoothie, I think, oh, is it going to be sort of a little bit too sickly? I've I've tried ones which are called that have milkshake in the title, um, but this one is just you know it's it's just a very smooth. It's very very drinkable. It's really. 
it's it's a really really refreshing sort of drink um, perfect for summer nights and your radio I'd say yeah really good there's that grapefruit in the back end there you know which is a t which is a typical sort of flavors but it's it's quite subtle it's just it's so smooth that it just sort of goes down 6.2 percent you know not a bad sort of strength that is a really good beer and it's a you know straight away it's recommended but what i'm going to do is i'm going to give it a few more tastes and i'm going to go through the rockers 100 point scoring system and we'll see what it marks out of 100 could it actually be the van halen of beers check out the reviews coming in the next few seconds Okay, welcome back. The scores are in. So we'll start firstly with Aroma. Just to give you a recap, this is the Northern Monk and it's the Tropical World Tropical Smoothie IPA. Coming in at three pounds from Tesco. Um, aroma, lovely tropical fruits, really nice, lovely smell, 14 out of 20 for Aroma. Appearance, well, I mean, you can see it now. I mean, it's it's still got a lovely little head there. It's um, bright orange, hazy, beautiful appearance. So we're giving that an eight out of 10 for appearance. Uh, flavor, I really thought the flavor was good. It's soothe, it's soft. Um, it sort of really does sort of, you know, it sort of really is a smoothie in terms of its flavor, in terms of the, the mouth feeling and everything else. Lovely tropical fruits, not overly bitter, not huge amounts of, uh, you know, that real hard bitter sort of a grapefruit flavour. It's, it's very subtle on that. The, the fruits are up front are those sort of stone fruits, the peaches, mangoes, apricots, pineapples, the, the big fruit. So I'm giving that quite high, 35 out of 40, that's for flavour. Value for money. This is a good value beer. This is a good beer. It's three pounds uh, for a 440 mil can from, from Tesco. I think it's you know up there in terms of value. I'd, all, I'd pay five or six pounds for, for a drink like this. So I'm giving that an eight out of 10 for value for money. And then finally, overall experience. A lovely drink. I would, I would drink this two or three of these overnight quite easily. It's very pleasant. Yeah, really, really nice. So I'm giving this 17 out of 20. And that gives us a score of 82 out of 100. 82. So this is the original, original and best of the heavy metal. It's an Iron Maiden beer. Iron Maiden beer. Didn't quite get the Van Halen. Didn't push over 90. I think we're going to find only a couple of beers in the whole reviews I do that get that high. But this is a very, very good beer and thoroughly recommended. So if you see this in Tesco's, give it a go. So there goes my review for the Northern Monk Tropical Smoothie IPA. So until the next video, keep on rocking.